You know, one trend that's become really popular on the marine side of the industry as far as with our boats is running a house battery, a separate lithium battery just to power your electronics. A couple of reasons, if you run a separate lithium battery, you're gonna get a lot cleaner power, which makes a big difference, especially with side imaging and forward-facing sonar. And the other thing is that some of these new forward-facing sonar units draw so much power that if you hook it up to your cranking battery, if you leave it on, you could have a dead battery by the end of the day. And so it just gives you peace of mind where you run all your electronics off a separate battery, then you have a, a cranking battery just devoted to starting your motor, then running the accessories and bilges, live wells, things of that nature in your boat. But one thing we're starting to see is we're starting to see that adaptation in ice fishing. And I first saw it in you know, people using snow bears, for example, they're running uh, live scope or they're running active target in their snow bear and they want to have a separate battery because again you don't want to be out in the middle of the lake in the winter time with a dead battery and I'm even starting to run it here but you know biggest thing is these batteries keep getting smaller okay and so this here I just put a 100 amp hour battery in this here just to power this topper just some of us because we're charging all kinds of camera gear all the time and so it's just kind of handy for that but also too you know the big thing is I like to have a standalone GPS unit in whatever machine I'm using, whether it's a snowmobile, ETV, side-by-side, -side, just for navigation, and then finding spots out on the lake. And so I'd encourage you to do that. I mean, if you're not doing that yet, uh, a phone, <laughs> the map on your phone works, but not nearly as good as having a standalone unit. So even if you just pull it off of your boat, pull your your graph or GPS off of your boat, get a you know a portable ram mount or something that you can install it in your vehicle. And then if you just even run a, just a, there's a plug-in adapter where you can just run into like a cigarette plug-in just to power your unit, okay? But again, if you're on a snowmobile, for example, you're out in the middle of some remote lake in Ontario and you leave your GPS on, it can be a big problem, especially with some of these machines that you can't pull start, okay? If you're using a machine that you can pull start, a little bit of peace of mind, but a lot of these machines, whether it's a side-by-side -side or like my Bearcat snowmobile, you're not pull starting that, okay? And so we're starting to run separate batteries just to power are, are units that are mounted to the machine, you know, especially GPS, okay? And so a couple of things, I've got 100 amp hour in this just because I had the room to fit it, but even like this 50 amp hour, I mean, you see how small that is? I mean, this will run forward facing sonar for three days. So just gives you peace of mind, but if you can take a 32 amp hour or even a 15 amp hour or a 50 amp hour and figure out room on your machine, it's a, it's a pretty smart move, and I, I'm starting to see more and more ice anglers doing that all the time just for the peace of mind. You have your separate cranking battery, and you've got your, your battery that's powering everything else, just so you don't have to worry about draining that cranking battery down, okay? Especially if you're running, like, say, a 9-inch, 12-inch screen for a GPS unit. just gives you a little bit of peace of mind.